40 playoff appearances. They're tied for the second most uh, state championship game appearances with 11. And is one of only two teams to make the state championship game in five consecutive decades. As we get started, I also want to thank, obviously, the players. We're going to celebrate them today, but also the coaches and the example that they set all season. And it has an effect all the way through our school system and our community. And so as the principal of Quora High School, I'm very grateful for the right way that our players do this and our coaches do it. So I think they deserve a round of applause for the right way. The championship game was an amazing feat for us. Uh, when you look back on kind of what happened throughout the course of the football game, how about Jordan Wiggins with six touchdowns? Are you kidding me with this guy? Awesome. Awesome. What a record. But the biggest takeaway for me was with Jordan when they interviewed him after the football game, it wasn't about him. He talked about his teammates. He wouldn't have had the success for his coaches if it wouldn't have been for his coaches or his teammates. And I think it speaks a lot of who he is. This kid's got a bright future, I love But this was a special group of guys. I mean, you, you can see it when the season started. I was a little concerned when we lost in Yoakum, though, Coach Reeves. <laughs> I hate to lose the Yoakum, I don't know about y'all. Y'all listen to crap for a whole year. But anyway, it allowed Coach Reeves and I think his staff and also these kids to regroup, focus on the importance, focus on the now, and focus on doing something in the common. These guys were able to do that. And I can tell you guys going forward, I know for me, we played back in 1987. It's something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. It's something you'll treasure for the rest of your life. And it's something that you'll never forget. Couldn't be more proud of the Pearl Goblins. Thank you guys for an amazing season. On behalf of Pearl ISD, the Pearl School Board, and all the staff of Pearl, we'd like to congratulate Coach Reed, the coaching staff, and all the Pearl Goblin players. 2018 was the year of the Goblin. Go Main Green! As these guys talked about, you know, it started about a year ago. And uh, before all the excitement, before there was games to be played, these guys were staying long hours after school. They were getting up at the crack of dawn in the summertime when the rest of their uh, uh, classmates may have been sleeping to get up for grueling workouts. But they were building their house, and it was a house that uh, proved to stand, uh, withstand the uh, storms of this season. And I uh, couldn't be more proud of them. We got the greatest coaching staff in the state of Texas. You know, uh, there's a lot of things that we can take away from the state championship game. But one of the things that I'm going to take away is how in that game, we, uh, who we are as gobblers, and I'm talking about, yes, our team, but I'm talking about our entire community was on display for the entire state of Texas, and anybody else in the world that decided to tune into that game was on display on uh, December 21st at AT&T Stadium. One of the great thrills of being able to play in that, in that place is running out of the tunnel before the game. And I'll never forget, we come out of the tunnel, and there is a biggest sea of green where the Cowboys play on our side of the field. And here at Herb Spencer, lead the gold mean green. I think that may have been the loudest one I've ever heard in the 14 years that I've been here. But it was impressive to see our community on display that day. So to our players, I want to thank you for your hard work, your sacrifice. I want to thank you for believing in each other. I want to thank you for believing in, in, the, uh, in our program and what we're trying to do. You guys have taken our coaching staff and everybody here on a ride that we'll never forget and we'll forever be indebted to you guys for that, that journey, that experience. Thank you guys. We love you guys. From the 1970 teams that was led by Coach Buster Gilbreth to the great teams of the 80s and the 90s, it's a privilege to be able to play and coach for one of the elite programs in the history of Texas high school football, that's the Quero Goblins. That's one of the things that I think makes Quero special and unique, is its willingness as a community to honor God in, in, in all that it does. And I think that's why he's blessed us for many decades now. Whereas the entire Gobbler Nation celebrates this 
2018 Texas State Championship, which is the fourth state championship for Quero High School, Quero, Texas, and recognizes that Quero High School is one of two schools in the state of Texas that have appeared in the state championships games for the last five decades. Now, therefore, I, Sarah Post Meyer, Mayor of the City of Quero and the City Council, Bill Mathis, Brad Hedrick, John Fuquay, Roy Johnson, Terry Glover, and Tony Allen, do hereby recognize and heartily congratulate Quero High School, the 2018 UIL 4A Division II State Championship in football. Congratulations.